I've had it the brass. Welcome to the surfaces. Um, it didn't matter how I apply it. As long as I apply it in linear motion, linear uh, line, aligned alongside one another, then I'm going to cut the edges so that both sides and sides meet. So I applied the glue, so the Gorilla Glue, so that <coughs> I may have uh, maximum strength. This is construction Gorilla Glue. Here's the second part, which is actually the top. This, this is actually the top, That's this is the bottom. And um, the core is underneath the unit, so it's sitting in the cockpit of the coil, and it's curing right now. Um, it's still moist here, the same. Um, working on that. That part of the inside cockpit is going to be iron instead of brass because I would need the attract force to pull down even though there's just a repel force to lift up because it had to uh, pop a willy like at an axis when lifting into the ear. And even though the gate holds these two together, I would need it to repulse. If I use two electromagnets, it's just going to move in a linear motion or move upward. But I want this to assist in a repulsive force to cause it to both move in the ear like vertical, like proximity holds. So I have a series of brass here alongside. Now, I did not exclude the metal that I'm going to add within the cockpit and the aluminum on the top. So I'm going to add the metal and the iron to flux the density, increase the flux, the electroflux in the coil, and electroflux, the aluminum top. Here, I'm going to use the uh, brass to be repulsive. So when I put the iron on the bottom of this, it will flux. The, the coil will flux the density of the iron, and it would move this upward. So this being the bottom to move upward towards the top, and the top moving uh, the top moving upward because, I mean, moving actually... The top moving downward because of the flux where the coil in the lens floor will escape from the aluminum top and the coil from from at the inside of the cockpit will escape the coil will escape from it moving downward so while that moves downward while the coil is trying to escape because the coil is greater than the inertial mass so it will move downward and wait so and the copper coil that is greater than the inertial mass of the, the aluminum top that's going to be placed over it shall move uh downward to escape away from it so while this move upward and that move downward that would enable it to close however the permanent magnet that i place alongside in areas and proximity areas or areas of fraction so i could have it lift in a gyroscopic measure not just assembly of magnets i could put assembly of magnets like a linear core it would move forward however i wanted to suspend so if i choose to do that to structure the exterior with magnets then i'll do it for the following part is the, like i said but this is just the beginning of the parts and segments and then i'm going to cut it in proportions and this is going to be into three parts this is going to be split into three parts these arenes are going to be connected to it so the center of the square we have will be connected to the scissorine at the top, uh, connected to a latch, and the latch is to the armature of, of the cross of the scissorine, and that will flap up like a fish gill. And however, the edge, edge part, which is one, two, which is the corners, that would be connected to the latch at the other end. Each one of them protect, connected to a latch that it may spread open like a uh, spread open like fish gills, and they will connect on top of one another in bunches and fix this part the armor into a vertical position or angular angular position stacked on top of one another and then when i release it to pull it away it will all connect now circumferencing so each part of the cutout of the template of the iron man gauntlet i'm going to place magnets around the diameter of the gourd and then i plan also to use rubber so that may have the cover the ears no ear vacate so that it may be also waterproof waterproof for actually marine diving and stuff like that deep sea diving so my name is jermaine morton and i'll be back with the next part of seven the segment this is fly morton uh uav drone uh, eds i'll be back lens lore